happy Saturday. We had such a storm last night. We didn't get a ton of snow. It was just like insanely windy and I woke up a ton throughout the night just because the wind was so loud. It's the weekend so we just didn't rush to get up or anything but then we just made some coffees and read. I finished my book, started my other one and um, now we're gonna film. So it's 1.30 and I am going to film this super quick recipe. So it's Kourtney Kardashian's vegan breakfast bowl. And it just looked really good to me and I don't usually make stuff like this. Like I know it's just kind of fruit and yogurt, but just like with the pecans and the syrup and stuff. Anyway, it just looked really good. So I'm gonna film this for Instagram. I have this pretty bowl I'm gonna use. And I don't have raspberries, which it calls for. So I'm gonna use banana instead. And then I have um, strawberries and blueberries. Tomorrow is Sunday coffee. I am going to be making raspberry white chocolate scones because yesterday we went to Luminate, which is like a health food store here. Um, and they also have a ton of bulk stuff and they have like really awesome specialty products in bulk, which is amazing. So for example, they have vegan white chocolate chips, not one kind. They also had another kind of vegan white chocolate chips in bulk. So like I had a decision between two types, which never happens. And normally vegan white chocolate isn't even white. It's like kind of a yellowy color, but these were just so perfectly white. They look like regular white chocolate. So I'm really excited to put them in scones with, well, I was gonna do raspberry. I think I'm gonna do strawberry because I have strawberries. Um, but yeah, I was so excited to find vegan white chocolate chips and like be able to just buy as many as I wanted. And I also got these like um, semi-sweet dark chocolate chunks and this is like my favorite chocolate bar ever if you've ever had a three musketeers bar it's like that but vegan it's like pretty much exactly the same it's a lot smaller obviously but it's called buccaneer the brand is i think it's go max go and then i also tried this one which is like a vegan twix bar and lucky for you i opened them last night so I have two open ones that I can show you <laughs> what the inside looks like in case you're curious. So this one is like a vegan Twix. See? It is chocolate outside with like chocolate nougat inside. So it looks like that. Sorry, I like broke it so it kind of looks weird, but, <laughs> but they're so yummy. Oh, and then there's one other one. It's kind of like a bounty bar, like a vegan bounty bar. Oh, Greg opened it actually. Yes, it is. Looks like that. Um, I like coconut, but I'm not a huge fan of like the chocolate bars that are just like straight up coconut inside, but Greg likes those, so he got that one. I wanna use these to make cookies too. I think I'll have leftovers. Oh. White chocolate is so sweet. I'm not like I'm really a fan, but I feel like it'll be good in the scones, hopefully. And then we're probably not gonna do anything the rest of the day because we're like actually snowed in. The plows have barely come, so we're just gonna stay inside and read for the rest of the day, but then I will film for Sunday coffee tomorrow. Sorry, the dishwasher's on again. Um, running a little late <laughs> because we slept in today. Okay, I was reading for a little bit too long, but I literally couldn't stop um, at the part I was at. So here we are. I am just rushing to make scones. Greg is outside shoveling our driveway because we're still a little bit snowed in and everybody has to come and park their cars in the driveway. So, I'm gonna just whip up scones. This lighting is horrible. Um, so yeah, I decided I'm not gonna do raspberry white chocolate scones just because I haven't tried it yet and I don't like trying like things out that I'm a little unsure of. 
at Sunday coffee when I'm giving it to people I always want to be like a little bit sure and I feel like having two fruity scones is a bit much so I'm gonna do plain and then I'm gonna do lemon blueberry um, I have to use my mini food processor because my big Vitamix one like won't register when I put it on the base of my Vitamix so you can't turn it on or anything I don't know why it's really frustrating so I'm gonna have to contact them updating you it's three o'clock we did Sunday coffee and then Greg had a little phone call and so I was reading and now it's three and so we're gonna have some lunch <laughs> protein wrap with some like rice and kale and vegan cheese and this like seitan vegan roast thing from Gusta and then I have like vegan cheese under there and hot sauce and then a protein wrap now we're just gonna chill for the afternoon. I'm gonna edit a few photos. Whoops, and that's really it. Okay, my wrap is falling apart, so I'm gonna go eat this. going so strong with the water this bottle is helping so much and I noticed such a big difference in my skin and I don't know I guess just in how hydrated I feel I mean it's not like anything super crazy I haven't like developed any abilities or anything like that <laughs> <laughs> our coffees and I decided to wake up and get ready first thing this morning usually if i don't have to be on camera i like don't do makeup or anything but it does help if you want to be productive for the whole day as i'm sure everyone's realized since working from home if you like stay in your pjs and look bad all day it doesn't make you want to do anything <laughs> but if you get ready and i don't know feel semi put together then you kind of feel like you're ready for anything so that's what I'm going for. So I'm clearly ready for nothing. <laughs> You're ready for nothing. I'm ready for Guys, I started a new book series. It's not, the series isn't new, but it's new for me. So I was reading from Blood and Ash. Had to stop. Had to stop halfway through the second one. I couldn't do it. I canceled that one. And I started Throne of Glass. So yeah, that's my reading update. Greg, what are you reading? What am I reading? Called? What's it called? Oh, uh, A Darker Shade of Magic. Oh, yeah. The series. How far are you? Like half? Yeah, 50%. No. Yeah, 50%. I feel like people with Kindles only, like before Greg got his Kindle, he would be like, oh, how's the book going? And I was like, oh, I'm like 27% through. And he's like, that's very specific. <laughs> and I'm like, I know, but it tells you in the corner, so. I have like a whole bookshelf of books back there that Wait, are just going to uh, go to waste. I was going to show them, but this is like teetering on like 
a sideways candle. <laughs> like there's no way this should be working. It looks like it's gonna. I'm gonna take a picture and, and I will insert what this is balancing on. <laughs> And the Kindle needs to Kindle be there to hold the candle <laughs> so it doesn't roll and then the can or the camera doesn't fall. It's a whole thing. But yeah, Greg has like a whole bookshelf back here that he filled last year, and then now I'm like trying I'm to never buy them all on Kindle. <laughs> <laughs> but today we're filming. Greg is filming a recipe video for egg excitables, and then I'm hoping since I got ready early. <laughs> okay, so here's the thing. Here's why like getting ready early is just setting us up for a really productive day because if I don't get ready until like midday and just kind of like do all like computer work and stuff during daylight early, then we have like a few hours of daylight in the afternoon before it gets dark to get fit in all our filming. So I just really thought ahead and I'm hoping that we're gonna have time for me to film coffee cake. I'm really obsessed with maple lattes with the silk maple creamer this so good and it's so canadian like i cannot think <laughs> of anything more canadian like this minus 11 that does not not motivate me at all to do anything except make a hot coffee and put on a sweater <laughs> we've got coffee cake done we've got crispy tofu in the oven. So it's Thursday and I it's 11.25 and I haven't had coffee yet so I thought I would show you guys how I make my maple latte because I talked about this creamer and so I'll just show you like how I make my latte because I'm about to make a coffee right now. So I always use this, it's like the silk cashew milk as the base. And this doesn't froth like super, super well, but it froths pretty well when you add a creamer. So here, like just a little bit below where the spout starts, two or three tablespoons of this and just like fill it up to where the spout goes. So I've been having decaf recently for anxiety issues and it really helps. <laughs> so we use Sign Coffee Labs, my friend from high school owns this company and sells it at the coffee shop that he also owns so this is the one that greg's been having this is not decaf this is just regular and then this is the decaf one that i have and we always buy like really freshly roasted coffee so this was roasted january 5th so, yeah so we usually try and get coffee that was just roasted like a few weeks ago okay. this is gonna be an updated little um breville coffee routine so I have a video on my channel of like an unboxing and like using my Breville when I first got it. And now I feel like I kind of like have the settings down pat a little bit. So I guess I will just do like an update on the Breville right now. Um, this is our coffee cupboard. It's got all our mugs and our coffee. And here is my 20 step routine on how to clean the coffee machine you have to do it once a month and it takes me like 45 minutes usually but I just like have my little kindle and I read while I do it because there's just so much like standing around and waiting I used to have to look it up each time because I forgot the order of like the way you have to do things because there's like a special order you have to do so I wrote it out on these sticky notes and now I never have to look it up because it's like really hard to find for the machine that I have we've had this for about a year and a half put this here so you can see it. The lighting is like so orange today because it is really dark out as per usual. Um, so yeah, there's the Breville. We have two um, like milk pitchers. The smaller one is the one that came with the Breville. This is a bigger one. I love the bigger one because it creates more froth and I got this for like $2 at the thrift store. So that's a really good place to check if you want a new one. This is our coffee distribution tool. Um, this needs to be cleaned, obviously, but 
you'll see this is what I use to like even out the coffee once we grind it into the portafilter. And then I use this side to tamp it down or sometimes I will still just use um, the tamper that came with it. Pretty much always, sorry I know it's flickering, have the grind amount at the three o'clock position. And then I know this is gonna be different for everyone and like different for everyone's coffee, um, but also like based on our climate, we usually grind, you can see between like a two and a three. When we got the machine, the instructions said to start grinding at a five and our shots were just never turning out. Like they were always way too, I think it's under extracted. Like they would be very watery and come out really fast and the pressure never um, got up into the espresso range. This dial would like always just stay at the pre-infusion part and it would never quite get up into the espresso range. And like you wanna aim for it to be at the high end of the espresso range, that's like a really good shot. So we had to start grinding our coffee um, like really low. And I don't know if it has something to do with like the humidity where we live at that and we usually don't change the grind that often like sometimes I'll play with it but I usually keep it on the finer setting and that helps so much with getting really good shots so this porta filter I got for Greg for Christmas last year it is a bottomless porta filter so like it doesn't have the spout on the bottom the coffee just comes straight through there and then it has like a wooden handle Honestly, there's like no point for this except that it looks really cool and I love like when you get the perfect shot It will slowly come out of here and then like there's like stripes and like ribbons in it and it just looks so beautiful coming out and like That's the only reason why I got it. It has nothing to do with like how well the coffee comes out or anything And then you click it in and it dispenses the perfect amount. It looks like before And then I just put this on and we spin it and then I'll flip it over and just tamp it. And then that's what it looks like after, so it's like nice and flat. Make sure you have enough water in your water tank. So with frothing milk, I hope you can hear me, you want to put the steam on at the top of the milk so it makes this like kissing sound for a few seconds. And then you just want to like plunge it down into the milk and then you just want to hold it so that it starts doing the like whirlpool thing so you can see the milk under the uh under the foam is um spinning so that's what you want and then you just want to have your other hand free so that you can like touch it and make sure it's not getting too hot and then you want to tap out the bubbles okay and then the only thing left to do is get your favorite mug and then you just press the double shot button and then your coffee will come out. I actually have a highlight on my Instagram with like all of my latte art attempts and I do have quite a few very good hearts. Maybe I'll put, I'll like insert some of those videos here so you can actually see how I do it um, because today it didn't work at all. But yeah, it's quite the journey trying to get good at latte art. And I feel like it depends on like the type of milk. Like I said, this milk isn't like perfect for doing latte art. Um, all of the barista blend ones and also the Earth's Own oat milk are really good for latte art, but the cashew is a little bit too thin and then the creamer sometimes gets a little too frothy. So um, yeah, sometimes it doesn't work, but it still tastes really good. So I hope that was interesting. Um, I've had a lot of people ask if I was gonna do an update on the Breville and I was like, yeah, I, I haven't changed a ton of things, but um, I do have a few new tips that are helpful. So hopefully that was helpful. I can link my old video below if you want to see an unboxing of like everything the machine comes with and everything. We're going to film. So we got to go get like our big lights set up and stuff because it was way too dark in here to use natural lighting. And yeah, look at how much better the lighting is when we have our artificial lights. So we've got this one and we've got that one. And it makes the lighting so much better. Guys, I made dragon noodles for my recipe today. These are so good. This recipe is so easy. If you guys have ever made it before, then you know, but the sauce is literally soy sauce, maple syrup, and sriracha and vegan butter. And the noodles just turn out amazing every time. Like just the quantity of each one with all the other stuff in it. I don't know, it's like magical. Like it tastes way better than you'd expect. Do you agree? Yeah. Greg just ate half the plate mm -hmm. and it was his first time having dragon noodles and this was like such a staple for me and my sister <laughs> for so long I was like have I never made you this
Friday. Um, it is 12.30. I have a little flatbread pizza thing in the oven for lunch. It's editing this morning, posted a YouTube video, posted our reels. I am finally using the white chocolate chips. I'm gonna make a video for, what are they called? I'm gonna call them white chocolate cinnamon pecan cookies. And so that's gonna go up this weekend. So that'll definitely be up by the time you guys watch this. And yeah, that's, that's where the day has taken us so far. <sighs> I like need to reheat my coffee already because it got cold real fast. I made a maple latte. I'm just gonna check on my pizza. That's what it looks like. It's just a protein wrap. We've got um, the like light life. I'll show you. These. You guys have had these, but they're so good. So I cooked one of those in the air fryer and then chopped it up. Pizza sauce, some gusta vegan cheese, and barbecue sauce. I'll give you a book update. So I finished Throne of Glass. I downloaded Crown of Midnight. I also downloaded a sample of a book called Rhapsodic. Throne of Glass is good, but like apparently it doesn't get like spicy kind of good for a while. The cover, okay, so I was put off by the cover for so long. What is that? And like, what is that font, you know? It just looked so bad. So I thought it was gonna be like kind of old school vibes, like weird fantasy, I just, the, the font on the cover just looked like something that was made in like Microsoft Word. So I was like very put off by it. But for some reason I just down downloaded the sample and I read it and it's like written very modern. Like the girl lives in Malibu and like a beach house and to cover up a murder, she's had to like make a bunch of deals with this guy who's called the bargainer. So it's been like eight years that she's been making deals and he's finally coming to like cash in the deals. This all happens at the very beginning. So it's like not a spoiler. Um, but like what he's cashing in is like, I wouldn't be mad if like that was the payment that someone required. <laughs> Don't tell Greg. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> nothing. <laughs> nothing. Um, and what was I going to say? Oh yeah. The writing's not amazing, but I have, it's interesting. I feel like it's going to be one of those things that's like a really, really fast read. Um, but I also, I have to get through Throne of Glass. I gotta get to book four, apparently. You're wet and very icy and cold. He's a good girl. You're icy. You're icy. Okay, I'm just gonna fold this. So we're gonna film and then I'll try and remember to show you the finished product. Ridley's visiting and she does not leave <coughs> Hazel alone. <laughs> so this is Greg's parents' dog, Ra ah, Hazel. <laughs> Greg's mom just um, went to her friend's house and she lives nearby, so she brought Ridley over so that the dogs could play. Guys, can you not do this right behind me? Um, yeah, I'm just about to go edit this vlog and I realized I didn't do an outro, so yeah, I hope you guys So I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Thank you for hanging out with us. That is everything for me this week. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!